Special Counsel Robert Mueller has long been criticized for heading the investigation given his apparent biases against President Trump and the internal information leaks. According to underscore the Hill underscore, the conservative watchdog group Freedom Watch has decided to do something about it. Citing obvious conflicts of interest among staff and the leaks regarding grand jury information, they are pushing to legally remove Mr. Mueller. Founder of Freedom Watch, Larry Klayman, filed a complaint with Attorney General Jeff Sessions and FBI Director Christopher Wray, stating, Robert Mueller is not a man of integrity as the Washington, D.C., Democrat and Republican political establishment like to spin. He goes on to suggest that Mr. Mueller's primary objective is to see President Trump removed from office, he is just another Paul who is representing his establishment benefactors and both political parties who want to see the presidency of Donald Trump destroyed. Many on the right criticized Mr. Mueller conducting the investigation, given his long-standing friendship with former FBI Director James Comey who President Trump removed from office earlier this year. Democrats interpreted this action as President Trump's way of obstructing investigations into whether he colluded with Russia to rig the election in his favor, as the allegations claim. Mr. Mueller was called upon to conduct the investigation in the wake of the left's demands and allegations. Another conflict of interest for the right is that many on Mr. Mueller's team are Democrat voters and donors, rather than bipartisan individuals. There is also the worry that Mr. Mueller and his team have extended their investigation well beyond what was originally mandated, deciding to look into President Trump's personal financial records and business dealings that have no bearing in relation to the allegations. Perhaps most troubling is that members of Mr. Mueller's team have been leaking stories to the press obtained through their investigative efforts that are damaging to those being investigated. Recently, there has also been serious questioning of Mr. Mueller's capabilities and possibly corrupt dealings. It was discovered that during the time Mr. Mueller was FBI director, his agency had evidence of Russia resorting to criminal activity to seize control of the United States uranium supply. In spite of the startling discovery, the information was kept secret while the U.S. government under former President Barack Obama agreed to the Uranium One deal, effectively giving over a percentage of the United States uranium supply to Russia. Citing these issues, Mr. Clayman states, he must be held accountable to the law and should not be able to do as he pleases to further his and his friends, like former FBI Director James Comey's, political agenda. Ever since he was appointed special counsel, Robert Mueller has been criticized for his conflicts of interest and continued investigation that has proven baseless. Will Freedom Watch's lawsuit finally lead to Mueller's removal? He goes on to say that it's time to establish a new investigative team that is bipartisan and from outside the establishment, we are hopeful that the court will order justice to do its job and conduct an expeditious and impartial investigation and then order Mueller to step down as special counsel. There are others, perhaps who practice outside of the Washington, D.C., swamp, who could step in and do an honest and conflict-free investigation of so-called Russian collusion. Considering Mr. Mueller's friendship with Mr. Comey, the leaks from his team, and the questionable decisions he made during the Uranium One deal, it would seem that having Mr. Mueller head the investigation into President Trump and Russia's meddling in the 2016 election may no longer be appropriate.